Joe Zakis from RiverChicago.com. I'm headed to a great location in the Loop, a short block from the Riverwalk in the downtown theater district, to tour a furnished two-bedroom model at the new Linnea apartment tower. Just walked into the foyer of a corner two-bedroom, two-bath on the 10th floor. It's a wide foyer and a wide open hallway leading into the living areas. It's a coat closet off to the right. Got a wide plank flooring that continues throughout the unit. Nine foot ceilings with uh, brushed concrete. So you have very much of a loft aesthetic in these units. Spaces you continue down the hall for a uh, home office desk. Then you enter into this great living dining open plan kitchen. Two walls of windows. Kitchen has stainless steel appliances with a built-in microwave, a dishwasher. There's a large farm-style undermount sink in the island where people prefer it. 42-inch cabinets, great appliance package, duotone cabinetry, have ice in the freezer, and since we're in a furnished model, you're stocked with all of the goodies that you're going to want to keep carved up or get hydrated. Then you don't wash your dryer, it's just off the kitchen. It's a full size stackable unit, larger than you're going to see in some of the newer complexes. Just look at this great space. It's a cloudy day, but it faces west and north, so it's going to flood with sunlight. And at night, it's just going to be lit up with all the magic and the mystery of the city. Breakfast Bar Island can easily seat four. And the cook is always going to be in the party. It's a split bedroom layout with a master. Master has one of the most unique features you're going to see in any apartment building in Chicago. These bump out bay windows that hark back to uh, one of the hallmarks of the Chicago architectural tradition. The bays just expand your view in every direction. Looking out here toward the river, Lake Street L passing by. It'll get you out to the West Loop to Google or to uh, the medical district, fairly short order. There's a large walk-in closet with the high ceilings and then a very attractively finished master bath. It's a wide vanity with a bank of drawers, walk-in shower with a rain shower head, and there's a mirrored medicine chest above the vanity. Lots of space in here. Second bedroom is past the kitchen. Pretty generously sized second bedroom compared to what I've seen in a lot of the newer construction in the city. There's a large closet. And just outside the second bedroom, off the hallway, you have the guest bath or second bath. Again, with the same attractive finishes that you saw in the master bath. And the high ceilings with the brushed concrete. Terrific unit. Imagine yourself standing here and hosting a small party. It's in a, and it's in a great location. Head to the building's website to see floor plans and near real-time rent and availability info 